Hey everybody, Glass Cannon back again, bringing you another episode of Wolf Among Us. This time, episode 2, part 3. This guy's a pain in the ass, but I'm gonna go talk to him. Because I have to, because I'm here to find out about Lily. So, well, let's look at him first. Can, yeah, let's look at him first. Dancing you, I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. You, Georgie. Start with the introductions. Well, he's an asshole. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. That Although, sounds... Uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? Uh, I'm not Maybe here for that. You like for the right price. I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. This guy's such a little douche. Can we just? Okay, all right, sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens. I hear about it, especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No, I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. Uh, uh silence? Is this some great strategy to get me to incriminate myself? Brilliant. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck up to back it up. Hmm. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Uh. He used to be something, you know. Snow's hair, let's try that. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? Oh, hey, if you say so. Just looks like hair to me. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh -huh. now what to do with me? Go on, then. <laughs> She's so scared looking. Uh, turn it off. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One no. more time. Who hired her? Oh no! Fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Who's the, the muscle head? Wait, like, like Hansel? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Look, you get it. It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. 
And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. We're not trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice here. I'm trying to be nice. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. That's why I'm asking questions, buddy. Hey, no. I'm not going to break anything. I'm just being nice. Being nice. See if that works out. Crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Hmm. Come on, dude. Just be nice. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Wait. Jukebox. Do cigarette machine. Touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. Uh. There's still last try. To just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, what's that then? <laughs> well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Everybody is doing the same damn thing. Fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Come on, buddy. Just freaking do it. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'm just gonna keep talking to him. I hit him once. You oh. might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I like how it started to say, Georgie will remember that. And then this one, I decided not to destroy it. And he's like, Georgie won't forget that. Bloody come on, man. So he's going to remember I hit him. And he's not going to forget that I didn't destroy everything, but I threatened to. <clears throat> Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that will tell you anything. It's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear, I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. Watch 207. Room number? <coughs> Don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit. Aha. Uh -huh. That's cute. This is your book. Your girl. Not my fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses <coughs> and Mr. X types. Whatever happens Ow. outside the club, that's on them. I log the business. Take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. I don't know if that's going to be doing anything. All right, what do I do? Okay, I got stuff to do Hello. here. Business off. Uh, well, let's go into there. She's listening right here. What do I got here? Note, cosmetics. Cubby. Cubby. Let's enter the 207. Well, that's Lily's stuff. Okay. Uh, this one. All of Faith's stuff. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Alright, what's this then? Lock's been busted open. I know. I did, you just said that, dude. Some money, lipstick. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. 
So you only put that one back. Alright, well what about the rest of this stuff? It'd be nice to put the rest of it back too, or are you just gonna nope, okay. What's this note? Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Okay, so they both saw the same cat client because she covered for her. That's probably why Lily, her faith died because I didn't mean to click that. Anything around here? Excuse me. Okay, yeah. You out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. <laughs> Somebody else said that to me way in I guess we're all surprised now why would you all be surprised I'm a man you're trying to place me <laughs> they used to call me the little mermaid Ariel once upon a time no freaking way Does that help what do they call you now Whatever makes them happy. Wow. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. I think you got your lipstick on there pretty good. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. I think there's like some kind of spell involved. Using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Something fishy about this. You know what? I'm going with it. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. <clears throat> it's not good to be short. Hmm. Pay her. I hope I got a hundred fifty. Yes, I do. Wait here for a second. Seven. You'll think of something. The open arms. Okay. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I think it might have to so something to do with that ribbon, maybe. Like it prevents them from telling stuff they're not supposed to. I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure it's a pretty po pretty positive. Ugh. It's a spell. Because they keep saying these lips are sealed. I think that's like, instead of saying what they need to say or what they were supposed to say, they say these lips are sealed. Oh, hello, officer. Of course, it's right next door. That's so handy. Good for business. Hey, uh, need a prostitute? Need a hotel? <laughs> right next to each other. We got this. All right. I wonder if he opens, if that guy owns both of them. Georgie or whatever. Phone, sign, 
Bell. Now we're gonna look at the sign first. Soda machine. Rooms or anything like the lobby? They should cut their rates. <laughs> very, very good point, buddy. They should probably repair that. What else we got? Soda machine. I, I want to look at the soda machine. Can I get a soda? Yeah. She'll kill you. <laughs> uh, of course it will. I mean, given that. Screw it. Given that. Your pants on, buddy. You have to check in first if you want a room. I already got a room. So come on. Mosey on back and we'll get you set up. Silence. Oh. Oh! Beast! Or beauty, I mean. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's yeah, he probably thinks you're one of the prostitutes next door. I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes, the... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Well, yeah, it's a troll. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> Johnsons. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed well, yeah. it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Who was she with? What about Faith? A girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Ah, uh, you know Tweedledee? Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. And shit's just Whatever downhill. Again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Oh, that's not good. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. That's a good point. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's going to be much of an act in a minute. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry huh. about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well... Here we are. Which one was it? Huh. What, uh... Can we... Let's check out 207. Oh, somebody's having fun.
You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? Oh, this looks bad. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. Oh, this looks really bad. <laughs> I love not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me with him? No, this looks terrible. Oh, this... I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. Oh, he gets angry quick. This is bad. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. <sighs> hey, master. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. Stop it. You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar. You've been sleeping with her this whole time. We don't have to do this. Just calm down and... Beast! Oh, yes. I, my hand was not on the keys. That was bad of me. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. W. I know she is. Calm down. I'm not doing anything. All oh, right. I don't want to go left. I want to throw him through the door. 207. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hit W. What do you want me? I don't want to hit him in the face. I don't want to hit him in the face. I just gouged him in the eyeballs. No, don't make me do it. I'm done. I don't want to hit him, man. He's going to try to hit me, though. I didn't try, you did hit me. You everything. I didn't. My... Oh, the door's open. <sighs> Shit, Big B. What have you done? What? What is this? Big B. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you... Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Shit. What is it? Oh, my God. Don't touch anything. Is this... Is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith. Whoever he is. And then... It must have happened right here. Night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Still, <laughs> this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. Oh, How man. Is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Calm down, beast buddy. Just gouge you in the eyeballs, no big deal. <laughs> He's walking around like nothing happened. My fingers were like two knuckles deep in his eye that's exactly what I'm about to try to find out I can't believe this oh man where
Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. What do I got going on? Ashtray, bottle. Check out the he bottle. Brought wine. Classy. We shouldn't even be in here. For my arrival. That's cute. What is in there? Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? Maybe. No, there's no blood on it. Yeah. Her. It must have been torn some other time. Yeah, that's not that's not cool. Uh hold on. I got what's this? Ashtray. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. <laughs> I'm the only person that smokes that one brand. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the mummy version of her story, anyway. What is it? It seems like he's fascinated by Snow's beauty. He's got this book about her, and he's even written it on the note. And he glamoured someone to huh. look like her. Yeah, I'm sure he's a real romantic. I feel like it's it, uh, D. The whole book is about her? Yeah. What else we got? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, no. What? What is it? The bed matches the coffin? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. Oh, I connected the evidence. Yeah. In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. He thinks Snow's beautiful, and this is what he does? I'm sure he thinks it's romantic, but, but what it is is obsessive and, and creepy. Well, yeah. Oh, my God. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Ah, uh, we don't really know. <clears throat> the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Well, yeah. What else do I got? All right, I'm gonna back out. That cassette. I want to hear the cassette player. She oh, must have been so scared. oh, I'm derping out. Use the cassette with it. Man, I think that matches. Yeah, that matches like the tone of. Nature. I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stuck in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. If it was stopped suddenly, in the middle, and it's blinking 12, Get it together, beauty. Be strong. you could find out the difference in time with one of the other rooms. No, no, no. No, no, no. I did, uh, okay. Anything else you can tell me? Anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Yeah, that happens. It's okay. What else we got? Uh, how do I find out who rents the room? Who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. Makes sense. I keep hearing that. 
All right. Uh, into the. I guess I gotta say. I but... better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this. Please just do whatever you need to do, and let's get out of here. Okay. Well, it wouldn't. What? Um, is there something I'm missing? It won't let me leave. I thought I did everything. Uh, yeah, it just keeps doing the same thing. Let me, uh... Wait a book, he... Alright, let's... Alright, now I'm confused. I'm stuck. Oh. There's an apple? What? Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What? <laughs> It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Okay. Oh, that makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff too. What other stuff? He's fascinated by her beauty, but then he spoils it by cutting off her head. Unless he thinks that's an improvement. I don't know how you think that's an improvement. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I think I'm done. Oh wait, what's that? Just just pick it up, bro. A picture of Snow White. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for Snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? <gasps> Crane. Okay, I, I thought he was involved in this somehow. But I don't know. There's just a lot going on. Next time. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I think he might be. But if somebody can get glamoured to look like Snow White. I think it was somebody glamoured to look like him. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Huh. Alright, so what did I do? How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 60% of players sympathized with him. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 62% persuaded him to talk. Wow, a lot of people did not want to beat the shit out of him. Uh, you and 91% let her make her own decision. Wow. Uh, how did you handle Georgie's porgy? <laughs> uh, you and 30% players hit him. So, I was one of the few that decided to slog him. 
Did you keep punching Deese when he was down? You and a lot of people decided not to. Wow, I am playing apparently pretty close to a lot of what other people are. Okay, everybody, guess what? That's the end of episode two. I didn't expect it to happen this quickly, but bam, end of episode two. So that means the next time I'm playing is going to be the beginning of episode three, which is the only one that's released so far. So four and five are not out yet. Four doesn't have a release date as far as I know. So in the meantime, you guys blast that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and share my channel. You guys have a fan. Fantastic day. Peace out.